Hello Pisces, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or the connection. Keep in mind that these uh, readings are general, so they will not resonate for every Pisces watching. Um, also keep in mind that the energies could be reversed. I could be picking up on your energy here, even though this is focused on your person. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. I have not said that for any of these other readings. Anyways, okay, so for Pisces, let's get into this. Spirit, angels, guides. What does Pisces need to know about this person that they are thinking about connecting with? What does Pisces need to know about this person they're thinking about or connecting with? What do we need to know about their energies, thoughts, intentions? We'll also be looking at your person's intentions, next actions towards you, towards the connection. So tell me about Pisces and the person they are thinking about connecting with. What is this person's thoughts, feelings, energies? when it comes to Pisces or this connection. Okay, let's see. If I could pick up the deck, would be great. King of Cups, okay. Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. And the Ten of Pentacles, okay. All right, Pisces. <laughs> uh, well, I will end this reading here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is great energy. Of course, let me not get ahead of myself as I typically do when I see energies like this. Let me just not jump into conclusions. But I feel like there's someone here who, uh, for the Pisces that I'm reading for, they really care about you and are looking for or see at least a future with you, a long-term stable future with you. Bottom of the deck, death. Scorpio energy, changes, endings, transformations, an ending that brings about a beginning. So let's see what else we can find out here. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We get some insight into this person's energy. It's the person that Pisces is not. What will we do with this spirit? What do we need to know about this person's energies when it comes to Pisces? For this connection, tell me about those places towards this connection. Loyal, faithful, and dependable, grounded, balanced, and rational. Oh, what the heck? This is an awesome reading. Victory lap. Can I get one more? Sorry, Pisces. I just get suspicious. I just get suspicious, but it's this looks good so far. This looks good. What else? What else? Standing firm, defense, resistance, courage. You are standing firm against any challenge. Victory lap. Okay. So if there is some sort of um, challenge or obstacle, this is someone very grounded, very rational, focused. Fire sign showed up as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could have fire in their chart. So let's get let's break this down because I feel like so far this looks great. This is someone that really cares about you. This is someone that, well, the wheel is here for a reason. So something either needs to change, events are taking place, momentum's happening. Oh my God, there's the sun. And the 10 of Pentacles definitely goes along with this grounded, balanced and rational energy. Something very stable, very secure. The world. <laughs> well, what is happening, Pisces? This looks great. Okay, so let's see. Why is the King of Cups here? What can you tell me, Spirit? Oh my God, there's the Wheel of Fortune that wanted to come out again. Okay, what happened with the King of Cups here? What's going on with this King of Cups? What do we need to know about this King of Cups? The Knight of Cups. I mean, what in the world? I feel like I can just end this right now. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Five of Cups. Okay, so this person is turning something around, I feel. Eight of Pentacles is here. Effort, focus. I did pick up that someone was very focused. But I think this is driven out, or this focus, this rational energy, this caring, caring and compassionate energy that I feel, it's because this person probably made a mistake somewhere along the line. And they cannot make a mistake again. Let's see what this Wheel of Fortune is about. 
Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Spirit, what are you talking about this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces? The Emperor, Aries energy. Oh yeah, this is definitely someone, Nine of Pentacles. This is definitely someone taking matters into their own hands. They will make use of this wheel. Five of Pentacles at the bottom. Can I get one more for the wheel? Why is the wheel here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yep, Four of Wands, stability, harmony. There, this is someone very focused, Pisces. This is someone that, um, they're taking charge of a situation. They're balancing a situation out. They're gonna fix something, I feel. Tell me about the Emperor. The Emperor loves the Four of Wands because the Emperor loves structure, loves order. Tell me about the emperor the moon pisces there you are this concerns you and then there's death again at the bottom of the deck and the ace of cups came out scorpio energy i feel like i'm speaking to a pisces where perhaps there was already an ending that has happened between you and this person or one of you is having some sort of change in your life or is undergoing some sort of change or transformation this is tied to love or a partnership. Knight of Swords is here behind that judgment. I mean, come on. This is definitely somebody that there's, the truth is very important. Clarity, a sudden realization perhaps has happened. Tell me about the Emperor. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have the High Priestess and the Six of Swords. So this Emperor is making a move. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Maybe they're coming over to talk to you. Maybe things need to be said that have not been said. High Priestess, the moon. These are usually secrets or things that have been kept hidden. Okay. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles. It's a big leap. Five of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles and Four of Cups. So, okay, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles. I think your person is coming in to, how do I say this? They're coming towards you with offers. However, I think they're worried you will not accept. Nine of Swords, Four of Cups. The High Priestess is here. Almost like they're not sure what's going to happen after, after they show up. But the goal is clear. Six of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune down here. Tell me more for Pisces. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This is what someone's actively working on to make a change in your connection. Let's get a little bit more insight about this person. Tell me more about this person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with. Tell me more about this person that Pisces is connecting with or thinking about. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? I see you in my dreams. What do we need to know? about this person what do we need to know about this person i wasn't ready i made a mistake at the bottom of the deck okay so yes i feel like um this could be somebody that you already know pisces well obviously you know them because this is how they feel about you but i feel like there was already a history here between you and this person and i think they're coming towards you with an a goal um what else do we need to know? Privileged lady, that's that nine of pentacles. I think you are this nine of pentacles. Someone with value, someone with uh, a lot to offer, coffin and pathway. Okay, so I'm getting a story here. Yeah, I feel like this person, things ended between you and this person or something was just not right between you and this person. And your person, they 
have very big goals when it comes to you a lot of feelings here when it comes to you very loyal to you despite whatever has happened and i think remorseful this knight of cups this person's hoping for a change what are their intentions next actions going to be towards pisces what are their intentions next actions going to be towards pisces spirit what are their intentions next action is going to be towards pisces the sun reverse judgment reverse knight of swords the magician okay bottom of the deck five of wands the world okay they're anticipating a battle that's why standing firm is here they know they're going to have to fight for this new beginning. They're going to have to fight for this new beginning with a queen of swords, which I feel like maybe you are a queen of swords right now. Hard to approach. Only care about the truth and nothing but the truth. Not very easy to BS the queen of swords. And there's the hangman. Yeah. This person, that's why they're so <laughs> focused. Because they're going into battle. Now the sun reverse, the judgment card reverse. I want to know what this is about before I tell you what I'm picking up here tell me about the Sun reverse this is reminding me of the moon and the high priestess tell me about the Sun reverse why is the Sun reverse the devil and the page of wands Capricorn energy with the devil tell me about judgment reverse why is judgment reverse the two of cups and this eight of wands there's the world again yeah this person made a mistake somewhere in somewhere in your connection in the history that you have with this person. This person feels they made a mistake. They weren't ready, perhaps, for what they had. They want to talk about this. Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords about? But I feel like, yeah, Ace of Swords. I feel like this is going to be a battle like um they're maybe expecting an argument or expecting the worst yeah i need to be strong <laughs> brave strength leo energy so tell me about the magician but this is with a goal in mind they're trying to make something happen here with the magician tell me about the magician why is the magician here yep the magician clarify with the magician and the empress the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck very clear energy um really there's only one way to interpret this they're going to get their empress they are going to have growth abundance they will be successful this victory is theirs etc etc they will have a new beginning let me grab a seller soulmate can i get one more um energy for this person that pisces is thinking about or connecting with what do we need to know about this person what do we need to know about this person's energy what do we need to know about this person's energy what do we need to know about this person's energy you are the only person for me words can't express how much i care for you yeah I am picking that up what's this i pretend that everything is okay but inside i'm hurting yeah so this king of cups i feel it's your person um you are the goal you are the victory triumph trophy you are the trophy and this person i feel like they're trying to make up for something they're expecting that you're not going to be interested um they picture your, your rejection <laughs> uh that however it's like they're not giving up despite the fact that you know they know that success will have to be fought for uh this is definitely somebody that's willing to do it to make it happen very determined individual you could be dealing with an aries um leo or sagittarius energy someone with fire in their chart if they don't have fire in their chart they're acting like a fire sign so it's almost like i'm going to make this happen I am going to, I see the goal, I'm going to make it happen. And they're going to talk to you. You can expect them to show up because they're going to talk to you. 
Now, I don't know what this devil energy is over here, but I almost feel like they screwed up because maybe they weren't thinking right or acting right. Um, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading, looking into your person. Like the video if you enjoyed this reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.